Okay, bloggers, looking at your results in mass space and also from some of the emails that I got, this was a doozy of a problem. So we have a toy frog that uh, jumps, and depending on how mass space created your problem, these numbers are going to be different, but they're all about a toy frog, and the way we solve it, it's going to be the same for everybody. It's just that your numbers might be a little different. Okay, so this toy frog, 76% of the time, it can jump over 90 centimeters. He's going to hop nine times in a row. We want to know what's the probability that he's going to have seven hops over 90 centimeters. So in the problem, it says at least seven hops over 90 centimeters. So that would mean seven hops, eight hops, and nine hops. So we want the probability of seven hops over 90, eight hops over 90, and nine hops over 90. We want all of those. So notice these are discrete numbers. So that makes this a lot easier. We don't have to worry about seven and a half hops or 8.25 hops, okay, because this is discrete variable. So we only have to worry about what is the probability of him getting nine hops in a row that are over 90 centimeters, the probability of eight hops in a row, and the probability of seven hops in a row. Once we have those answers, all we got to do is add them together. So this problem is really just like the previous problems, except that you need to take into account that there's three different things that could make you a winner if he hops nine times, eight times, or seven times. So here's the number nine. So nine is going to help us figure out from our Pascal's triangle what our coefficients are going to be. So I'm going to, I actually pre-made my Pascal's triangle to save time for the video. So I have it here, right here on the back of uh, Beethoven's Emperor Concerto. Okay, good use of music. Um, so I already set up my Pascal's triangle already going down to nine trials. So this would be nine hops. So on Pascal's triangle, the top line here is zero trials. So if you don't do the experiment at all, one trial, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I already set up my answer for nine trials. So these are the coefficients. This is the number of groups of different outcomes. So we're interested in hopping nine times in a row. So that would be all nine. That would be this one, um, eight of the nine, and seven out of the nine. So it's going to be these three coefficients that I'm going to care about. So back to my problem. I'm going to have one group, and I'm going to have, what did I say, nine and 36. So nine and 36. So I'm going to get it started like this. So the probability of getting nine hops in a row that are over 90, I know the probability of having a jump that is greater than 90 centimeters. The probability of that is 0 0.76. So the probability of not that, okay, so, uh, let's see, how about we call this A? Probability of A is equal to 0 0.76. So the probability of not A, the probability of this not happening is going to be 1 minus 0 0.76. So that would be 0 0.7, oops, sorry, 0 0.2. Four, right, because those add up to 1, 0.76 plus 0.24. Am I doing okay? I hope so. So um, the probability of A of having, not, of having um, a jump over 90 centimeters is 0 0.79. So I want all of the jumps to be over 97, 90 centimeters. So my first probability, I want this nine times. And I'm going to multiply that by how many do I want of it not happening, which would be none, 0 0.24 to the 0. I don't want any of those, right? All, every single jump is going to have a probability of 0.76 because I want all of them to be over 90 centimeters. All right, here's the next one. This one is going to be, so this one was for all nine jumps, all nine jumps. Okay, this one is uh, for eight of the jumps right? This is the probability of 9. This one's going to be the probability of 8. This one's going to be the probability of 7. So I want 8 of them to be over 90. So 0 0.76 to the 8th. And that means one of them is going to be 0 0.24. I have a probability of that. Okay, and then the last one, my coefficient is 36. There's going to be 36 groups of ways of arranging um, 7 jumps over 90 centimeters. So I am going to have 0 0.76. Uh, that's for my seven jumps that are over 97 centimeters. I have seven of those. 
which means how many jumps are going to be less than that, which are going to be not A, 0 0.24, there's going to be two jumps, okay? Seven jumps that are over 90 centimeters and two jumps that are not over 90 centimeters, okay? My A and my not A. And then I'm just going to add those together. So I can multiply this out, I can multiply that out, I can multiply that out, um, or I can just put the whole darn thing into my calculator. Might be safer to do one at a time so that you don't make any notation errors. One times, well, that doesn't really matter, right? I don't need to really multiply by the one because anything times one is just one. Let's zoom in on my calculator a bit here. So I'm going to have 0.76 raised to the ninth. And then 0.24 to the zeroth is just one, so I don't need to worry about that. And um, it says to answer in four decimal places, I believe. Okay, so this one is, but I'm going to take write down more than four decimal places. In fact, I'm actually going to keep it in my calculator. But since I said I'm going to write it down, let's see, 0 0.08459, 08459, that's five decimal places. Um, that's okay for now. I am going to keep it in my calculator. The next one, I'm going to have 9 times 0.76 raised to the 8th power times 0.24 raised to the 1st power. I don't need to put the exponent into my calculator. And that gives me 0 0.240416, if I'm rounding that off. And then the next one is 36 times 0.76 to the 7th power times 0.24 raised to the 2nd power. And I get that, and that one is 0 0.303683. Okay, notice though I have all three of these in my calculator, so now I'm going to add them together. So I'm going to hit enter, that gets me the first one. Oh wait, what am I doing? Okay, so I'm going to do, oh, there we go. If I just hit the plus, it gives me the previous answer, plus, I'm going to select the next one, enter, plus, and then the first one. Enter. So that should be all three of them in there. Hit enter again, and it gives me the answer. So that would be 0 0.6287. Okay, so now for the moment of truth, I'm going to put my answer, that's four decimal places, I'm going to put that into math space, and let's see if it works. 0 0.6, you can't see math space, but trust me, I'm putting it in right now, and submit, and it's not saying anything, that's usually a good sign, either that or my internet's gone out. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Yes, okay, phew, I got it right. Not that you can see that, but you can trust me. I've got that right. Okay, so when it says at least or more than or greater than, any of those things that imply an inequality, remember, so this is discrete information. So you can find the probability of each of those discrete numbers that satisfies your inequality and then just add those answers together. Okay, hope that helps. Signing off.